Good morning. Today we're going to learn English grammar and it's about noun. As you know, noun is one of part of speech in English. But what is noun? Noun is all words that used to label a person, place, thing, or idea. Okay, I will give you example. Person, like me, a teacher, and you, student. Place, uh, home, school, zoo, okay, and then thing it's easy i can name chair laptop microphone and other <laughs> idea mm, how about happiness and then oh health health yeah okay now we're going to learn about the type of noun the first type i will show you about common noun so common noun label general groups places people or things so basically uh, the example that i've just uh, mentioned before all all those nouns is uh, are common nouns I will repeat, okay? I give example, teacher, school, book, what is this, lesson, address, yeah. All those things are common, okay? It will be different with, I will skip this one first, proper noun, okay? Because proper noun, name specific people places or things so if the common noun is teacher okay so the proper noun will be miss gemma my name or miss dina or miss nanning yeah and since it is a name so you should put capital letter for the first oh uh, the first letter in the word okay because th this is a name every name should use capital letter okay oh yeah this is the name of our school school is common noun but the proper noun is Sekolah Christian Logos or Logos Christian School right okay Oh, this is uh, the common noun is book, but the proper noun I have a title of a book that is mouse tail. Yeah, and then a lesson. Lesson is common noun, but the proper noun I can name science, English, math, health, PE, craft, and so on. Okay. Address. Address is my common noun. So, uh, the proper noun you just name the the address. Simpang duku or duku kupang or what? Simpang darmo or else, yeah. Okay. Ah. To help you more uh, understand about common noun, I will go back. Now, uh, I have attached this task. Actually, this is not a task. This is an activity for you to learn, to for you helping you to learn. Okay, and also I later I will attach a song about noun. And I want you to hear that song and then you can write person mentioned in that song 
because that song is specifically about noun it will mention a lot of nouns about person place thing animal so you just write down here and then place all place that you heard from that song you may also write it down and thing and also animal okay okay after that I also give you uh, an activity for for you to understand proper noun okay I give box um, two boxes the first is common noun the second one is proper noun and I also give lots of nouns at the right side but you need to cut along this uh, lines dotted lines this one too and mix um, make them into pieces and then you sort them into the right boxes if you if you find if you find a name of a noun name yeah you will uh, stick over here you can glue them in the proper noun box okay and the rest is common noun so you can glue in the common noun box okay now I will continue uh, the third type of noun is concrete noun what does it mean concrete noun show things experience through the senses of sight hearing taste smell and touch so we can really uh, feel them with our senses okay i can see my teacher i can see my student i can hear what the bell okay i can taste the cake i can smell the garbage Ugh. and i can touch my laptop right that is concrete um the thing is exists i can see i can hear i can taste i can smell i can, I can touch okay the same so there there are teacher school book miss gamma and street we have both proper noun right miss gamma and common noun for the other so those things even though they are in a different type of noun they also can be included in this type of noun concrete yeah okay otherwise I also have abstract noun yeah what is abstract noun abstract nouns label things that is not knowable through the senses so it is like the opposite of concrete noun so you cannot see it you cannot touch you cannot smell you cannot hear you cannot see you just see the result i i give example of love right your mom loves you you only see you only feel the result but the noun itself yeah that is abstract right ability i can see the outcome of your sport ability and confidence I can see your confidence during your drama play, right? But confidence is in you that I cannot see. I only see the result. And then pride. You know what pride is? Yeah. You feel proud of something, maybe yourself. And education. Education is a big noun like and it's very abstract 
Okay. So, to help you once again to understand, to differentiate between abstract and concrete, I give you an activity and I found this cute turkey. <laughs> yeah. Later, it's okay if you want to draw or uh, print it, you may print it. And then I want you to color the turkey, make them very colorful. And I want you to cut the turkey and also the feathers and arrange them like this. For abstract nouns, you should arrange at this left side and then for concrete nouns you will arrange at the right side yeah and you can paste behind this turkey okay let's see the words freedom can you see it can you feel it touch or smell you answer it okay how about pie do you know pie right pie is a uh, food kind of food and then turkey turkey itself it is an animal right and also religion i think religion here is um not a lesson yeah like what is your religion my religion is christian or you ask the other people and their religion is muslim or hindu okay and trust once again can you sense with yours all of your senses family food is that real is can you touch can you uh, smell them and how about generosity what is generosity generosity is when you feel wants to help others so you just help with all your might even if you you will lose something of your own yeah to make it better i think you should oh you may open your dictionary yeah okay later you can show me the result of your turkey right okay next collective noun what is collective if you collect something so the thing will not be only one right it is a group okay let's show collective nouns label groups as a unit okay so actually if you count them it has a lot of things but in this case in english language we can call them as a group i will show you the example uh, family family is not consists of one person family consists of more than one of course right even family is big family has a lot of people inside but we can call them only family one unit family okay and I have this. If you find a group of dolphins, there is specific words for um, to show the the group only for dolphins. And some of them, I think so. Okay, later we will check. Yeah, we can call part of dolphins. Okay. Uh, 
how about some uh, a group of birds? We don't say in English group of birds, but flock of birds. Okay. Now, in this activity, it will show you uh, how many? I think eight or nine other collective words, collective nouns. Yeah, flock of birds, school of fish, herd of sheep. Okay. Later, you will see this uh, PDF collective noun, and I uh, and I will ask you to make this. Uh, like a mini book yeah you can cut the boxes and then you can stack into one book and you can staple uh, at the top like this yeah put your name and then um, if flock of birds you will draw the birds some birds and then make sentence using flock of birds Okay. Uh, the purpose of this activity, the first, it will show you the variety of collective nouns, yeah, and I hope that you can use them in sentence. That's what language is for. Okay, sentences. Okay, then this is the last type. Okay. Compound noun. Uh, I hope you you've ever heard about this. So compound noun, we have two words joined together into one. Okay. Compound nouns label a single concept composed of two or more words. So there are two words that is stick together, and it it will make another word that uh, one word that has another meaning I will show you the example basket right this is basket and this is ball joined together become basketball I'm sorry it should be oh this one <laughs> the other L is um what right. very mixed up okay it's okay right what I want you to know that basket has meaning itself, ball also have different meaning, and when they join together, it will make maybe a completely different meaning. Okay, this is the second example. Sorry for the typing, this is very I, I should edit it later okay I have sun right and then flower and join together become sun flower maybe you have another example in your mind before you continue this video I think you can just pause and you can just guess yeah or write it down the other uh, example that you have in your mind this is my example okay uh, there are lots of compound noun using the word door okay start from this uh, door as the first word okay doorway door mat door knob door Step, door, bell. Okay. And I have with the word ball. Mm. Okay, so I think uh, the first at the center word is not, uh, it's not always the first uh, word. Okay. It, this is baseball, not ball base, right? 
baseball sorry basketball kickball gum ball football okay how about this one i ha we have sun shine 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 sun sunshine sir sun shine sunflower sunset sun burn and sun ray bird house dog house school house hen house fire house hand shake hand book hand writing hand bag hand made Nah, okay. So, um, since uh, we have a lot of words over here, uh, some of them is very usual uh, to find. Okay, so I want you to um, choose three compound nouns and use them in a sentence. Why use them in a sentence? Because it will reflect your understanding about that word. Okay? So, for example, what is hen house? Or house hen? You should find it out. Okay? So, warehouse. You just choose three other words for the compound one from uh, three from sun three with house three with door three with hand and three with ball and you can try to make sentence uh, behind or uh, over here yeah, so it's up to you okay okay i think um I think you can rewind this video if it's too fast. Okay? And I will give you a lot of time to absorb the knowledge and also then to put into your activity. Until later I will continue with the other part about noun. Okay? And don't forget that on Thursday I will give you a English test. It's about the previous spelling and then the previous grammar is about thesaurus. Okay, so I want you to learn that also. Okay. Okay. If you have any questions um please ask uh through whatsapp or in the google classroom i hope i am not late um answering your questions okay okay then see you next time bye